Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna make a video to show how easy it is to control a Windows Server virtual machine uh, from another Windows using remote desktop connection. So let's get in. I use the ESXi as a host operating system. I have FreeNAS running as a virtual machine. Uh, I had a installation video of, uh, uh, of FreeNAS. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link on to the bottom of this video. You can check it out. But today, I'm going to talk about how easy slash hard to control Windows Server. Let's open it up. Click to open the window. See, I assume that if I click on this Windows here, I can go inside and control my virtual machines, but I cannot do that. Look, all right, I cannot do that. Okay, so now it say control alt delete to unlock. So go to actions and go to SOS, send keys, control alt delete. Great. Now you can go in. Wow, that's easy, eh? But my mouse cannot go inside, so but hopefully my keyboard can work. Oh, it does. That's great. So type in your password. Wow, you're in. But how am I going to use my mouse? Because you got to use your mouse. Right? Right? I cannot do that. So in order to do that, you have to maybe go to Actions, Console, Download VMRC, which is Remote Control uh, for the Virtual Machine, I guess. So let's go hit Download. It leads you to this page, and you search for, depends on your system, either Mac, Windows, or Linux. Uh, I use Windows, so I'm going to hit download. And you have to log in, okay? You have to have a, your account. So let's log in. Right, so opening, save. So one is done. You have to unzip it with either 7-zip or WinR or WinZip, whatever the uh, application you use to unzip to extract it out. So let's do that. I'll extract it into folder. I open this folder and there it is. Do installation of your uh, application as you would normally do. All right. So welcome to Remote Control Setup Wizard. Click Next. Accept the terms. Click Next. And click Next. Check for the product updates. I don't want that. Join the customer experience program. I don't want that. Click Next. Click Install. So after like a minute, it'll be finished. Even less than a minute. That's cool. That's fast. I like fast. Uh, now I think it's done. So I close this. Let's close the Firefox tab. Go back to your uh, uh, Windows uh, server window. That's weird. That sounds weird. Go to Actions and Console. Launch remote con console. So Firefox would ask you to accept to open this uh, program. Open link. All right, and now you're in it. Wow. So basically, this is the VMRC. All right, just in order for you to get inside. 
So let's open this window a little bit here just so you can see everything. Right. So one as soon as you click inside this, you in. So let's click on it. And they say to return to your computer, press control alt. So let's try that. Control alt. So now you're outside. Your mouse is outside. Right? You can move around. As soon as you click inside here, you're inside, basically. So now you can uh, first, I need to find out my IP address for this uh, Windows Server VM. So by doing that, I'm going to go to my commands from hit IP config. So just remember this IP address. Yours might be different. You can have to remember yours. So right so i remember that number for later on so now i have to enable my remote desktop connection uh inside here by going to my pc properties go to advanced system settings go to remote allow remote connection to this computer and check this allow connection from uh, computer running remote desktop okay you can select either user but I use a default administrator uh, user and uh, I don't need to select another user but you can customize whatever way you want but I use a default click OK and once you enable remote desktop you can close all this one to exit control alt to get outside you close uh, VMRC you can close this one and now you can even close your uh, Firefox uh, browser right now go to your remote desktop connection from uh, your Windows 10 and you remember the IP address that uh, earlier on so you need to hit that so you need to enter it in here if you want to customize your resolution, uh, you can open that option, display, make it big, uh, the quality of your color, all right? So you can setting all this one, advanced. All right, so go back, hit this one, username, administrator, as a, my default installation username. So I hit connect, it will tell me to enter password. Okay, you gotta do your own password, okay? So now you're in. Now you're in remote desktop. It's so smooth though. It's not that sluggish or anything like that. Now you can do whatever you want to do with your virtual machine. It's it's basically it's it's not that uh, sl sluggish. So it's very smooth. So I have a Windows Server uh, data center evaluation uh, uh, version. Wow. Okay, you can configure the network. Uh, there you have it. So easy. All right. And it's so smooth as well. So there you have it. So uh, if you want to see another videos about any other things, just uh, hit a comment below. I'll try to make it uh, as useful as possible but um, in the meantime have fun and see you next time